I'm going to be showing you something about arc length and sector area. Now this has to do with circles, which may be weird because you're thinking, what does it have to do with triangles? But it does work. This, this really does have an effect here. I put this right here because uh, we're going to be talking about arc lengths. Now let me actually just show you first what an arc length is. If we have a circle here and we have this, you know, the center is O, and uh, well, maybe I'll start labeling things actually. So we have this uh, radius R, that'll be the radius of the circle. So this is R and so is this. So is, you know, this is also R, if you get my meaning. Um, we have this angle right here we're going to define as theta. And theta is in degrees, this is going to be important. And now we're going to have this thing called an arc length. That is this length. I'm going to do a little curly L here. That's this length from here to here. That is this arc length. So that's why it's the length of an arc. Do you notice why I put this cat here? Because if you look, it looks like we're measuring, look, we're measuring the arc length, aren't we, from here to here. Um, so we have an equation for it. Okay, so this one right here, this equation for the length of arc, luckily you don't have to memorize this, you get this. Um, and its length of an arc is, let's see, it's L equals... Now we're going to have our angle theta, but it's going to be as a fraction of 360 degrees. And it's going to be some uh, proportion of, so I'll put maybe times here, 2 pi r, where r is the radius, theta is the angle. So this is an equation that you get. So good news, you do not have to memorize this. This is one of the ones on your formula booklet. So you just got to know how to use it. Let me just uh, paste here. So there we go. So this is on your formula booklet. All right. Uh, we have something else called a sector area. It turns out we can find the area of this piece right here. So if we want to find out what's the area of this, normally it'd be, it'd be difficult because we would try to do the area of, you know, of a triangle, but then we'd have this curvy part. But it turns out we have something really nice there as well. So we have an equation for that. So again, sector area. Um, I put this in here, math just got important because... <laughs> That's because here we're doing these areas of these sectors. So in this case right here, we're going to, again, still have a radius r. We're still having an angle theta. And this time we're going to find the area here. So we're going to find the area of this thing right here, okay? This whole area, including all the curvy part. It sounds like it would be really hard, but we have a nice equation for this as well. So the equation goes, um, let's see, uh, we can call it a, I guess. So the area of a sector is going to be, let's see, it's going to be, um, well, this angle theta again over 360 times pi times r squared. And again, this thing is on your formula booklet, so hooray. I'll put it down like this. I'll say paste here so we know it's on your formula booklet. Now, um, what's interesting about this, so this tells us uh, what the area is, what this curved area is. What I want to show you is something kind of neat, like, uh, so I'll say this, so what if, so what if uh, the angle theta is 360 degrees? What if it goes all the way around? Let's look at the arc length. The arc length then would be, uh, remember now, it's over here, it's theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Okay, so I'll write that down. So it will be, well, 360 over 360 times 2 pi r. Well, what's 360 over 360? You don't need a calculator for that. Hopefully, they cancel out. You notice, and you just get equal to 2 pi r? Do you remember what the circumference of a circle is? It's this. It turns out, so this is really handy. This right here is the circumference. I don't know if you ever remember that from uh, your years in school before. Circumference of a circle. So the good news is, when we make the angle 360, we recover this equation for the circumference of a circle. And in the same way, if we do the area, at the area of the sector here, let's see. It's going to be 360 over 360. And let's do this. Let's do times pi times r squared. Okay, so pi r squared. Well, again, look what happens. This right here cancels out. You end up with just pi r squared. And hey, isn't that the area of a circle? So to see how we just recover these equations right here. So we have the area of a circle comes in. We have a circumference of a circle, which is c equals 2 pi r. Hopefully that makes sense, because if we're doing uh, some angle, well, we're doing a fraction of that whole thing. See, this 2 pi r represents the entire way around. And so if you did like half of it, well, then that would be, you know, uh, let's see, that would be 180 degrees. 
Yeah. So hopefully that somewhat makes sense. Same thing here, we have a pi r squared, and we just have some fraction of the pi r squared that's going on. Let's do it with an actual example. So we have a circle has a radius of 10 centimeters, a sector has an angle of 210 degrees. I thought maybe it would help to draw it, because we're supposed to find the length of the arc and the area of the sector. So I'll just try to draw it here. So this right here could be my uh, radius here like this, r. Now it has an angle of 210 degrees. I shouldn't make it some small angle, because if you know about uh, angles, well, all the way around is 360, halfway around is 180, and this is more than that. So if I'm gonna try to attempt to draw like from here going around like this, I'll have to make it go more. So I don't know, maybe something like, I'm just guessing here, something like that. This is also still R. Now this right here is gonna be the sector I could say, I'll maybe make it in purple here. This right here will be the area, okay? This right here will be the whole area. And this length right here will go from here to here. That'll be L. L will go, you know, from there all the way to there. So let's use our equation here. If we want the length of a sector, oh, sorry, length of an arc, what do we do? Well, we look up the equation. So we say, ah, okay, well, it's theta over 360 times 2 pi r. So away I go. I'm going to go, all right, so L equals theta which is 210 over 360 times 2 times pi times r, which is 10. Okay. Now, if I want to do it exact, uh, well, you know what? We can use our calculator for this, so let me get it. Always make sure you're in degree mode just in case. Here, we don't really need to because we're not doing sines and cosines, but it's just a safe idea to double check. All right, so I'll open up a new calculator. I'll say 210 over 360. What fraction is that? Oh, look at that, that's 7 over 12. Now I multiply that by 2 times pi times 10. Let's see what I get. Oh, look, I get 36.65, so we'll say 36.7. So I'll say approximately, so 36.7. So I'll say, therefore, the length of the arc is approximately 36.7. What are the units we're using? We're using centimeters, so I'll do that. There we go, I'm done. Let's do the next one. That was actually pretty nice. Area of the sector, very, very similar. I'm going to solve it in a similar way. I might do it in a different color here. Uh, so the area, well, I just need the area equation. So area is going to be, um, and if you're not sure, you can always go back and look. Let me remind you. It's right here, theta over 360 times pi r squared. So I'll write that down. So theta, which is 210 over 360, all that times pi times r Whoops, it's not r, it's 10 squared. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'll do that on my calculator. So I'll do my, uh, well, I can save myself the time. This 7 to, uh, over 12 is the same thing here. All this times pi, all this times, and if you're not sure, just do 210 over 360. You'll see it'll work. Uh, times 10 squared, but that's 100. So we've got 100, uh, so we'll have 700 pi over 12, or... 183, if I want three significant figures. So 183. So the area then equals approximately 183. Units will be centimeters squared because it's an area. Areas have units of whatever distance you're doing squared. That's it. That's how we can solve questions. Now, why might you ever want to use this stuff? Why should you care? Uh, resolution is so important in physics, at least. But I mean, if ever you've used a screen, I don't know how are you watching this video right now, for example. So phones, computers, TVs, uh, they all have uh, resolution. And the word resolution has to do, it turns out, with this arc length, this arc length stuff. Spy satellites. I've got one of my physics videos that I did. It talks about a true story here that uh, got me in a little bit of trouble here, but it's called Rayleigh Criteria. So it turns out that's one thing, although that's in uh, radians, we have a very similar equation. But this idea about finding the arc length, it turns out you can find out how well a spy satellite can see something uh, from space. Well, we can also do distances from Earth, so uh, or distances on Earth, I mean. That's because if you think about the Earth, the Earth is a sphere, right? So let's just do a 2D version of it. It looks like a circle. And it turns out if you want to find a distance, well, the distance from you know one point like this here, well, because the Earth is curved, sorry, flat earthers, it really is curved. Um, this distance right here is not a straight line. Do you notice it's a curve? It's a little bit curved. And this is 
really important. It also explains why when you're flying, for example, long distance, sometimes the quickest path between two points is not what looks like a straight line on a map. It's In fact, it's a curve. That's because you're following these, you know, quickest paths along a sphere here. So it's a little bit complicated, but these curved paths, in other words, finding these arc lengths, very, very important. You can use them in real life.